Hey guys, in this video we will learn how to create a secure and minimal docker container using Changard images. I have divided this video into three parts. First of all, we will see what is Changard and what are its benefits. Also, we will compare the normal docker images with Changard images and see which one is better. Then we will also create a simple containerized portfolio application using docker and the official Changard Nginx image. Finally, we will publish the portfolio project image on docker hub. So let's get started. Containers are very popular in modern application development. Whether you are working on medium sized projects or enterprise systems, there is a high chance you are using containers. With this containerization approach, we are already moving towards faster, very well managed and flexible deployments. But one of the biggest challenges is the size of Docker images. Larger images take longer to start up, slowing down development and with more components the risk of common vulnerabilities increases. But here is what Changard comes. It makes docker images smaller and more secure, ending up building a secure container images that eliminate CVEs from the start. Changard is a platform which has safety, security and performance as its golden motto. Changard images are updated daily and built with security in mind. It has almost all of the most popular images in its library. You can click on start building and find what you need. Currently at the time as you can see they have over 800 plus images listed on their website. Let's say you have a python project so if you need a python image it's here and you can just click on it and pull the image right away. Alternatively in their newest update we can now easily access Changard images in docker desktop itself which we will see later in this video. So it's that easy. It helps you make your docker experience smoother and safer. So if you want to optimize your docker images and enhance security, check out Changard. Visit their website and start exploring today. So anyways, enough theory and now let's do some practical work. First of all, if you have ever worried about vulnerabilities in your docker images, well let's compare a traditional Node.js docker image with a Changard image to see how it resolves common vulnerabilities. Let's get started. First, let's set up a minimal Node.js application. We'll create a simple Hello World app. I will create a Node app directory and there as I have Node installed in my machine. If you don't have, please go ahead and install it. So I will open this folder in my VS Code and then in the terminal, let's write npm init y to create a simple package.json file. And then let's create a simple Hello World app by creating a new index.js file and by copying and pasting the following code inside it, we are done with a minimal Node.js app which will print just hello world on localhost port 3000. Let's open a terminal to check our app if it works but before that let's run a command as npm i express to install the express package which our app is using and once done, let's run the program using node index.js and visit localhost port 3000 as you can see it says hello world. Now as we are done with the basic node.js app, let's move on to containerizing this project using just docker first. So let's start by creating a docker file for our node.js app. There I will pull the latest node.js image from docker hub at the top. Then let's set up the working directory inside the container to an app folder by writing the command as work dir slash app. If the directory doesn't exist, docker will create it. Then let's write the command as copy package.json from your local machine to the app directory inside the container. Then let's write the instruction to docker container to run the project by writing the command as run npm install. After that let's write copy command which will copy remaining files such as index.js file into the container. Finally, let's specify the script to run the index.js file by writing the command as cmd and you can write square brackets and first of all you can write node and then index.js. Again, this specifies the command to run the project when the container starts. In this case, it runs node index.js which starts your node.js application. Let's build and run this new image by writing the command as docker build t and the name of your project. So I will choose node-app and period to make sure that please build docker file from this same directory where we are right now.
and then to run the container we need to write the command as docker run node app but before the name of the image we can point the domain so i will write 9000 colon 3000 so now as you can see that our app is running in the new container also if i go to my docker desktop here also my container is running and i can see the details of it now if you try to scan this image for vulnerabilities you will see that normally the plain docker images comes with a lot of vulnerabilities and some high risk warnings as well plus the size of the image and total packages get installed will often be crazy large now to avoid these vulnerabilities and size issues we can use the new changard images let's go to the same docker file again and we just need to replace the Node.js image with Changard image by copying and pasting the official Changard Node.js image. So for this, we have two options. We can either copy paste the command from official Changard website or we can simply use the new Docker desktop integration with Changard, which means now you can easily access most of the Changard images directly from Docker desktop and you don't need to go to website anymore. This update is simply convenient and easier. Anyways, let's search for changard slash node and here let's copy this command to pull the official node.js image. Now I like to pull the development image from changard as it supports that also. And then we also need to make few more changes to dockerize our node.js app with changard. First of all, we need to add a start script in package.json file. And then as we have added this script, so now we can simply write entry point instead of the CMD and write npm start as elements of our entry point. It's that easy. Now let's build the image again. And then let's run it on 8000 port this time. And as you can see, we have the same results. Our app is running inside a container and everything is great. But now here is the thing. If I try to analyze my container image with new docker scout integration in docker desktop, you will clearly see the magic difference. We have no vulnerabilities, plus the size of the image is reduced, and total packages installed are also way less. So to conclude, Changard images helps us in creating more secure and efficient docker containers for our applications. Now let's take this simple portfolio project I have and turn it into a secure docker image using changard. You can see it only has an HTML page with bootstrap integration and an images folder. Let's run it with live server to test if everything is all right. So as you can see, it is a simple demo portfolio project with a navbar, banner, about and services. So to dockerize it with changard, let's create a docker file in the project directory. And as of now, we are able to access Changard images directly from Docker desktop, which is very, very helpful. So let's search for Nginx, which we will be using as a server to serve these static files for our website. In the Docker file, we will use a Changard Nginx base image by writing the command as from. And let's copy and paste the following line from the documentation of the Changard Nginx image. After that, let's create an Nginx configuration file and copy paste the following configuration inside it. You will find everything explained in this video as an article which I will attach the link in the video description. It will hold all the code and steps shown in this video. Anyways, once we are done with the configuration, we will copy the website files to the Nginx HTML directory, which is the default path to serve static files for the Nginx server. Then let's expose the port 80 and finally write the entry point command as nginx g and let's write daemon off. So we are done with the minimal docker file and now we are ready to build the image from this docker file. Once again this docker file uses a changard nginx base image and copies our website files to the nginx html directory within the docker container. Now to build the docker image, we will use this command as docker build t and the name of your image. I will call it portfolio website and then we can specify the location. I am writing period which stands for the current directory where we are. Once the build is complete, let's run the container to make sure everything works properly. To run a container, we can use the command as docker run d p. And here we can do port mapping to shift the traffic to port 8080 by writing 
एटी एटी विथ कॉलन एटी एंड फाइनली एंड फाइनली द नेम ऑफ द इमेज विच वॉज पोर्टफोलियो डैश डैश वेबसाइट हियर डैश डी रेफर्स टू रन द कंटेनर इन द बैकग्राउंड सो नो मैटर्स इफ यू क्लोज द टर्मिनल द प्रोजेक्ट विल स्टिल बी रनिंग इन द बैकग्राउंड and the dash p refers to the port mapping where i have set up that when someone visit local host port 8080 docker knows to send them to port 80 inside the container where your website is running it is returning the id of the container so let's open docker desktop and from here you can open local host port 8080 to see your portfolio website and there you go it is running perfectly fine without any errors and minimal setup thanks to changard So as you can see our portfolio website is up and running now finally let's push the image to docker hub so that it can be accessible to anyone and i will put the link to this in the video description so you can pull this image and create your own containers or versions for this project so first of all log in to docker hub from the terminal by using the command as docker login then just tag your image with your docker hub username and repository name Finally push the image to docker hub using this command as docker push your username my one is code with masood and write your image name and i am also making it latest Now you can easily pull this image and run containers from it or in the same way you can use any changard image in your project so that's it you have successfully created a lightweight containerized docker image using changard with nginx and pushed it to the docker hub if you found this tutorial helpful please like share and subscribe for more content also don't forget to check out changard which is the sponsor of this video at last thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in the next time